Well, thank you for joining us for KBOI 2 News Midday. I'm Brian Moore. Now to your top 11 stories at 11. The big news of the day, President Barack Obama will be in Boise. Here you can see the president leaving Washington bound for Boise. After touring an engineering department on campus, the president will give a speech at the Cavan Williams Sports Complex. The Secret Service has asked local media not to broadcast or publish a detailed timeline. That's for security purposes. We are honoring that request. Keep it tuned to KBOI TV. We will cover his speech live and we'll also stream it on our website. And right now there are several hundred people already in line to see the president speak. The first person in line tells us she's been there since 2 o'clock this morning. Behind her, several others showed up in the 4 o'clock hour and tell KBOI 2 bearing the cold is all going to be worth it. Well, I came here and uh, I didn't bring anything, but I've had friends bring me hand warmers. I got a hand warmer here and uh, yeah, that's about it. And I've had blankets and I've been just sitting on a chair. And Rodriguez says he got in line at 445 this morning. He says it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see a president speak. And that's why he got there so early. And as the president lands in Boise, he's landing at one of the safest airports in the country. The Boise airport helps planes even in low visibility situations with an instrument landing system. The special technology is helping pilots safely take off and land even in dense fog. The airport spokesman says it provides pilots with horizontal and vertical guidance to the runway. That has two different pieces. It's a, a radar that's on each end of the runway that sends a signal to the aircraft. And then it's also the approach lighting system on the far end that's that big bridge to nowhere. It's the lights that, that planes use to align themselves with the runway as well. The Boise Airport is one of six airports in the country that can safely land a plane with just 600 feet of visibility. And beginning January or February 1st, excuse me, the FAA will decrease that distance to 500 feet. And speaking of Air Force One, here are a few facts about the president's plane. Obama and his staff have 4,000 square feet to use. Spread across three levels of the modified 747, the plane also has a medical suite that can function as an operating room. We will carry the arrival of Air Force One live this afternoon right here on KBOI 2. But tonight, we turn the page. President Obama delivered the annual State of the Union address. This was just last night for the first time in his presidency. Both houses of Congress are controlled by the opposing party. We'll break down the president's speech in just a few moments. And KBOY 2 News headed to BSU for a State of the Union watch party last night. You can uh, see what some Boise residents and students thought about what the president had to say. We will have that story coming up in a few moments as well. Since the president was first elected, our national debt has grown over 70% to an amazing $18 trillion. And yet tonight the president is proposing a budget that will increase spending in Washington by another 7%. The glowing picture painted by the president ignores the most important number to families today, and that is that the average family earns about $3,000 less each year now than when the president took office. And that's part of Idaho's congressional delega uh, delegation on Obama's speech, as you might expect. Idaho's Republican lawmakers weren't fans of what they heard in the president's speech last night. Congressman Mike Simpson was also critical of the president's speech. He released a statement saying, in part, the president touts his free federal programs, while Republicans know that free federal help places an additional strain on America's already overburdened taxpayers. And Congressman Raul Labrador says this about the president's speech. He glosses over the fact that the middle class has suffered greatly during his six years in office. The president now proposes tax and spend policies he couldn't get passed in his first two years in office when Democrats controlled both houses of Congress. And story number 10, Indonesia's top accident investigator says there are no indications of foul play in last month's crash of an Air Asia plane that went down killing all 162 people on board. The cockpit voice recorder shows no signs of sabotage or terrorism. The plane went down from an elevation of 32,000 feet. 
no distress signal was activated. And number 11, a measles outbreak that began in California is spreading. Disney theme parks says five of its workers were infected with measles in Anaheim. We will have much more on this story coming up in a little bit.